All right. Our next question <clears throat> is from Catherine B. Fit. I know the difference between flexibility and mobility, but what are the differences between flexibility and mobility drills? Okay, so flex it. They, they say they know the difference. If you know the difference, then you'll know the difference between the drills. Okay, mm -hmm. so flexibility is just range of motion. How far you can take a muscle through its full range of motion. Like how much, how Passive far- Passive versus active. Right, so how far can I, can I touch my toes? How much can I stretch my hamstrings? Mobility is control and stability within a range of motion. Okay, so just because I have the flexibility to do the splits doesn't mean I have the mobility within the splits. Okay, a good example of this is a baby. You take a baby, babies are very flexible. You can take their little legs and bend them back, and they often will suck on their toes and do, you know, whatever. But they have very poor I wish I could do that. mobility in the sense they don't have that stability and strength. That's, Another fetish. That's <laughs> oh. Man, I'm really revealing myself. They drip that episode. wax on my nipples while I suck my toes. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, nasty. so much being revealed about you today, I know. guy. I know. Hey, you know, it's I just wear it. The yellow <laughs> yeah. toe. No, so it's uh so flexibility is just that range of motion. So the drills uh of course are gonna be geared towards both of those. So what are flexibility drills? Static stretching. Yep. Static stretching would be a flexibility drill. I'm mm -hmm. just looking to increase my range of motion. What does a mobility drill look like? Mobility is connecting. through it's, it's tension. It's connecting through those ranges of motion. So like we have our MAPS Prime webinar coming up, which is free, and, and, and Justin actually teaches that class, teaches you how to prime your body, does a self-assessment. In that webinar, in that class, you are going to experience what it means to connect rather than just stretch. Mm -hmm. Totally different. Totally different level of effort, but the results are look, flexibility is flexibility can mean you're in unstable. Mobility means you're stable. So it's there's not even a competition between the two. What you want is mobility. Flexibility can lead to improved mobility if you do the right stuff with it. But on its own, it can yeah, lead to Yeah, it's a different mentality. And I kind of mentioned like passive versus active. So yeah. like if you've been in certain types of yoga uh, classes where they're trying to get you to really relax and breathe and calm your system and like, you know, uh, uh, find yourself into these positions by relaxing the central nervous system, it's a totally different technique than, you know, mobility where I'm really trying to gain access to where I'm squeezing my muscles and some of, uh, basically I'm trying to create lift. So if I'm trying to lift my arm trying to lift my legs but i'm not i'm just squeezing my muscles to, to act as if i'm about to move and so that i have access to that now so if i were to get in that situation and be in that position with my body i have the strength to dig my way out well mm -hmm. another example and referring to the the webinar that you did that you know goes out goes live on saturday is uh the windmill right so uh, we're all if you've played sports um and even if you haven't played start everyone has seen the memory in pe at school to cross your leg hang over and stretch your hamstring mm -hmm. right like that you that it would be a static like justin's talking about where you're, you're working on flexibility you just hang over there for 30 seconds and you stretch the hamstrings a mobility drill that's going to help with not only flexibility but also strength and control a mobility drill would be like the windmill so the windmill is going to gain the same access that you're you're talking about with like the hanging hanging over stretch, but then you also get strength and control through the full range of motion. So Justin teaches, you know, the windmill and how to break that down with Doug on Saturday. But then it, that's the real ex difference. Like that ex that would be an exercise that is a mobility drill versus just crossing your leg over and hanging and stretching. So I think I have an analogy hanging uh, hanging there with me. I think this will work. But do you guys remember walkie talkies back in the day? Yeah. Okay. So if you don't know what a walkie talkie is and you're listening, which you might actually not know what that over. is. These, this was before cell phones, and they were things you would talk into. They have an antenna. And if they're certain distance apart, you'd be able to communicate with your friends, and they were super fun. So you'd And there's expensive ones that the military would use, where they would actually go- Miles. Yeah, you know, a mile or two miles away, where I could, like a cell phone, except it's not yeah. pinging off cell phones. I think Metro phone. even had that as an option. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like at a button on your cell phone, yeah. you could do that. Yeah, yeah so walkie-talkies, I'd talk in on one end, my voice comes out in the other, and then we'd have to be a certain distance apart. Okay, so- once you move outside that distance, the walkie-talkies can't reach each other, and I can't communicate with my friend. When you stretch past a certain point, your central nervous system can't connect to the muscle. It's off. There's no control and stability. Mm. So imagine if you have these two walkie-talkies. I move them apart, move them apart. Uh-oh, I can't hear Adam anymore on the other end. So now what I do is I push a button that sends a stronger signal to establish a new connection. 
Now I can talk to him at this distance. Now we move further apart. Uh oh, we lost connection again. Send a stronger signal, establish con a connection. Hmm. This is what you're doing with mobility. You're working in new ranges of motion where you don't have control and, and stability, but the way you gain that control and that stability is by connecting. You have to connect with your central nervous system. Then when you do this enough times, you establish a solid connection. Now you've gained mobility. That's the big difference. Hmm, interesting. I like that. Well, yeah, a little bit. Uh, almost yeah. ramp water there, but it, you... No, you, he dug his way out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, you could kind of hear your friend, but then, you know, it becomes clear later. And that was well, Nextel, not Metro. It was Nextel? Yeah. Damn it. 